Florida voters are seeing and hearing new political ads that claim that a vote to legalize pot is a vote for better schools and safer streets. We get the facts from Western News political reporter Greg Fox. This year, marijuana is on the ballot. In Florida, marijuana is already available on the streets. This new ad is one of four commercials from the political committee Smart and Safe Florida. The ads are aimed at getting you to vote yes on Amendment 3 to legalize recreational marijuana. Most Americans have access to legal marijuana that is regulated and tested for safety. But not Florida. Most Florida marijuana is illegal. Let's get the facts. Do most Americans have access to legal marijuana? That is a fact. It's legal in 24 states and D.C., which have nearly three-quarters of the U.S. population. Is most Florida marijuana illegal? That, too, is a fact. Let's look at the data. According to the Economic and Demographic Research Office, in 2017, there were 2.3 million marijuana users in Florida. Even if you subtract today's 880,000-plus medical marijuana patients, most users are buying illegally. And what about that illegal pot? It's produced using toxic chemicals and can be laced with dangerous drugs like fentanyl. The fentanyl-laced weed story has been smoldering for years, with headlines calling it myth and misinformation. But we'll call it mostly true, and here's why. While it is rare, we've brought you some stories of drug busts in which police claimed some cannabis was laced with other drugs, including fentanyl. Amendment 3 gives adults access to legal, safe marijuana. While generating billions for better schools and safer communities. That claim is playing it fast and loose with the numbers and assumptions. For now, we'll call the claim of generating billions of dollars misleading. We just don't know. I talked with the chief economist of the Florida legislature who has been saying this for five years. We think the market itself um, could end up being about $2 billion market. But a $2 billion sales market, according to a state report, will generate between $195 million and $431 million a year. And the idea that tax revenue would be spent on schools and police? We'll call that misleading as well. Only lawmakers can decide that. Just remember, back in the 80s, the lottery was supposed to make our schools the best funded in the nation. Three decades later, Florida is still among the lowest in per-pupil spending. Smart and safe Florida will likely be spending tens of millions of dollars in ads between now and November, with right now most recent polls showing that there's not enough support from voters for the measure to pass. With Get the Facts, I'm Greg Fox.